Hello everybody, this is Jason and Nicole from the Yahoo and the Tour channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for wanting to be a part of this project, hopefully. So this is what we are doing. We are taking one of the very best versions of the word of our creator. And we're doing something that we're taking it from a PDF and we're doing it what they call an OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. Now we need people to help with this project because we are going through the entire scriptures and our entire goal is to release this 100% free of charge to everybody. When we are done with this, our hopes and our goals is that we will have a complete restored name version of the word of our creator that people have in a WordPress plugin or that we have in a Word document and that we have possibly, hopefully, some sort of an application. The application is all by the hands of Yah. If that ever happens, I don't know if that'll happen, but we do know what we can do is that we can go through this and it's as simple as this process that Nicole is going to show you. And if you guys have Microsoft Word, you guys can do this. There's a font that you download that you install that will get this going. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to recreate the entire scriptures. So if you are excited about this project, if this is something that you would like to do, then definitely email me at jboss008 at gmail.com. Again, that's jboss008 at gmail.com. And we will set you up with a package and a way that you can help contribute to this project. This project will deliver the word of our creator in a wonderful fashion to the entire world, absolutely free of charge. And this is a tremendous project and we hope that we can get you guys in on board with this as well. So after this, I will turn this over to Miss Nicole and she will show you exactly how it is that we put this together and get this to where it is readable on the internet. Hi everybody. All right, so this is what it looks like when we take the PDF over here and we transform it to an OCR into a Word document. So, and you can see right here, it like takes out our Messiah's name and it takes out our creator's name, Yehoshua and Yahuwah. Those get all like jumbled around because I can't read those. And then the words that have the special characters, like the Mashiach has the H with the dot under it, it adds strange characters to that as well. So we're going to get rid of all that. We're going to fix this so that it actually looks like this versus this jumbled mess that you really can't read. So the first thing I do is I take it and I highlight this whole chapter and I go up to my home and under my styles I have normal. So I'm going to click on normal and I don't know if you guys will have the same toolbar at the top as I do but that's where it is. It's under styles and normal and so that just kind of puts it like in a normal format so you can read so it's kind of all together. The next thing I do is I go through and I delete all of these extra spaces that are at the end of each sentence or each line. Get rid of anything extra that doesn't belong. And as you're going through this, if you see extra dots or anything like that that shouldn't be there, those need to be gone as well. But the main thing right at this point is to get rid of all this extra spaces at the end because when you start doing it to each verse, if you have any extra lines or anything in there, then it doesn't add your number in to the next verse. It does, just puts a, an enter versus a space versus a number, and so you have to go figure out where the extra space is. So if you just get rid of all that to begin with, then you shouldn't have too much problem when you put the numbers in, but it still happens. And so as you can see, like right here, that has two commas, so it's just something that bled through when we did the scan. And the background, it puts in extra dots, extra extra lines. I apologize for the dogs. You guys all know we have dogs, so I apologize. They're always here. They're always loud. So we're going to continue going through this document and taking out all of these spaces until we get to the bottom of this chapter and anything extra that should not be here. So I'm just going to keep going here. Whoops, I got rid of an eye, but I'll put that back. And there's extra dot there, so we're going to get rid of all that. And see that? It has a space or a, a page break right here, so we're just going to delete and delete until that goes away because it has really strange formatting on this when it does the OCR. So we just got to get rid of all the weird format stuff and get it to where it's all like in a giant paragraph and then we can put it so that each verse has its number, has its line, and it looks beautiful like a Bible should look. 
and then we can compile all this into one once we finish everything. And then again, there goes the dogs. All right, we're almost done. Getting all these out of here. All right, so that looks like that is the end of this chapter. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I highlight this and I go up to the font. We're gonna make it all Arial. And then we're going to change the size to 14.4. So I just type in 14.5, or not 4, sorry, 14.5, and I hit enter. So it should say 14.5 up there, and everything should be that same, same size. And then see right here, there's like an extra space right here. So I'm going to get rid of that as well, because that will not work for us when we try to put it into our verses. So now the next thing I do again is I highlight this one more time. And I go up to my layout, and I'm going to change the left to 0.19, and then hit enter. And I'm going to change the right to 2.69, and then hit enter. So then it puts it in the nice single column like we have on our PDF, so that when we compile it all together, we can have the left and the right, and it'll be the perfect column size. All right, so now we're here. The next thing I need to do is now we're going to read this and see where our verses begin. So because it's a new a new book, I'm going to put a number one right here and I'm going to make this font size 26 so that we know kind of like it is over on the PDF. And then I'm going to put a space right there. And so that's the beginning of our book of Revelations. Kajan, I think is how you say that. I don't know for sure. Okay, so now I'm going to look at my PDF, and I'm just going to kind of proofread it a little bit and make sure that it's all here. And we will give you the font with this package as well, so that you can put in the correct name of our Creator and our Messiah, Yehoshua and Yahuwah. And so in order to do that, I'm going to delete what is right here, and I'm going to go up to Insert, and into Symbols, and then into Symbols again and then click on more symbols. And on this you'll find in the font the Paleo Hebrew once you install it. And because I've done Yehoshua and Yahuwah before, I do have the letters down here on the bottom of this shortcut thing right here. So I'm just gonna type in his name and hit insert after each one of these letters or symbols. And it puts it into the Word document. And now we have Yehoshua Hamashiach, but it doesn't say Hamashiach, it says Hamashitat, I guess. So we're going to get rid of this because this does not belong here. It needs to have the H with the dot under it. So I'm going to delete that and I need to go put a space over here and put a space there. Now there's this cool website that actually has all of our Latin alphabet basically is what this is called. So that it has all your symbols and everything and we'll give you this website as well. And it just tells you how to insert each one of these letters into your document. So you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then use your number keypad that's on the right hand side of your keyboard. If you use the numbers across the top, it will not work. So you got to use the keypad on the side. So in order to do the H with the dot, it's the Alt 7717. So I'm going to go back over here to my Word document. And right here at the end of Hamashiach, I'm going to do my Alt key 7717. And it puts the H with the dot underneath it. So now I'm just going to kind of proofread over what I have here and make sure that I don't have any extra spaces, any extra dots, or anything at all in this first verse here. Now we need to fix Yochanan. It needs the same H, so it's the Alt 7717 again. And now we have Yochanan. So that is our first verse. So now we need to make who right here as our number two verse. So I'm going to hit the Enter key and it puts my thing right there. So now I'm going to go up to home again. And right up here we have numbering. So I'm going to click on the numbering and I'm going to choose this numbering which is the 10 point. And if you don't have the 10 point you just have to change it to 10 point after you put this in. But just make sure that you don't have any of like the dust, the dots or the, the parentheses or anything like that. So you just want a plain number. So we're going to do this one right here, the number 10. And then you have to move the margins. 
So, because they don't line up where they should be, so we're going to move the margins. So I'm going to just move this one over here. And then we need to move the top one as well so that it's equal with it, so that that two lines up correctly. And so, now we are on verse two, and who bore witness to the word of Yahuwah. So we're going to get rid of this right here, and we're going to go to our, I'm going to delete this out, and I'm going to go to insert and to symbols and to symbols again and then I'm going to type in our creator's name of Yahuwah and so normally in Hebrew you would type these things in backwards but we can type them left to right because it's not doing Hebrew even though it is Paleo Hebrew but the Word document does not see it as Paleo Hebrew so let me get this in here each letter you just click on it and click insert after each one of them and now we have the name of our creator Yahuwah and the witness of Yehoshua. Now instead of doing the whole symbols again, and I see I have an extra letter up here, so let me get rid of that. I am just going to copy and paste this. Instead of having to do the insert and the symbols each time, you can just find it in the document and copy and paste each time. So I'm just going to copy Yehoshua, and then I'm going to go down here where it should be the witness of Yehoshua, and I'm going to paste that. And to do that, you just do the control C up here when you have that highlighted, and then do control V, and it will paste it right there. So right here I can see I have an extra space between the and witness because it's blue. It, it helps you. It helps the, the people that, you know, can't do this very well. It will. It helps you. It's a cheat sheet, basically. And so Hamashiach, we're going to get rid of the, the colon and the comma because neither one of those belong there and you can tell that by looking over at your PDF right here there's no comma it's just the dash so I'm gonna get rid of the T and then we're gonna insert that H again so I'm gonna hit the alt on my keyboard and 7717 on the keypad and you release it and it will add in that H so that's verse 2 and so we're gonna make sure it has a period at the end we got our period there so now now verse 3 begins with Baruch and so I'm going to go look at my website again, and I'm going to go find the K with the underscore under it, and it's down here. It's right here, and it is Alt 7733, so same as we did the other one. We're just going to go type it at the end. We're going to hold down our Alt key, go Alt key. We're going to go to the keypad, and we're going to go 77, was it 13? Nope. See, now I was, <laughs> it is, where'd it go? Okay, 7733, sorry. All right, so 7733. And there we go, now we have Baruch. So then I pull back up my PDF and I just continue to do this through the whole thing. And then once you finish this, then you guys can email it back to us and then I can get it all compiled, we can get it on the website, we can you know, get, a, get the full Bible so that it's able to be given freely in a nice clean manner where people can actually copy and paste from it and also at some point, if we can, we'll do an app as well. But for now, we just want to get this out, get it free, get it in a PDF, a readable, copyable, copyable, that's not a word, a copy, <laughs> to be able to copy it and paste it and send it out to everybody. So anyways, thank you. And again, just email Jason if you'd like to help. It's jboss008 at gmail.com. And we hope you all have a wonderful day. Shalom.